This is not an emergency situation, but it sort of feels like one, and that's the idea behind the Emergency Vehicle Operation Course. What you're going to see is a multitude of driving skills in a certain area. It'll be timed to help simulate stress, uh, to make it more realistic in its training, and it's a refresher. Um, you have to have this when you initially get on in a law enforcement agency through the, the, the licensing um, aspect of uh, being coming in a police officer, and then your license is three years in a, long so once every three year licensing period you have to take an eight hour refresher and this is this group's eight hour refresher. The troopers are tested on their steering skills, observation skills and their maneuvering and braking skills. It's important practice because the troopers spend so much of their time on the road. We drive our cars every day so it's it's going to be skills there's going to be emergency and non-emergency skills being used. So each day we say it's the most litigated situation in police business is uh, driving a squad car. The EVOC training is more than just a way to practice driving skills. It's also a way for the troopers to really test the limits of their squad cars and really get a handle on the car's capabilities. Um, it's extremely important. We need to be able to, we need to know what the capabilities of us are and what the capabilities of our squad is. If you do need to push it to the envelope a little bit, you can just see how, uh, how your car handles and what's the capability. It's knowledge that the troopers never really wish was necessary to use, but they know the reality of their profession. For Lakeland News at 10, I'm Aaron McElhern.